Hi guys, thank you for tuning into another video. My name is Tope. I came to meet up with one of my very, very good and beautiful friend, Vani, to chat about the concept of lobola, which is like traditional and customary marriage in South Africa, but it also spans across the whole of Africa because it's also a culture that we do, we practice rather in West Africa. I'd like to hear our opinions about this and hopefully you guys will enjoy the conversation. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Vonnie. I am a YouTuber. I talk about African films, African TV, and today I'm being interviewed by a very good friend of mine, Tope, who's going to be questioning me about Ilobola. I, I hope you guys enjoy it. I was about to say that. <laughs> work. Tell me about your new work. I can always cut this video and it slots in. This yeah, because I just wanted to ask you. What's your new job? What's it about? Um, I'm doing it. I'm a junior data scientist at Explore. Where's um, Explore? Where's this place? They have offices in Cape Town and Joburg. But right now I'm doing an internship. So it's not permanent yet. Fingers crossed by the end of the internship, they're like, here's your permanent contract. That's nice. That's what I'm looking for. It's, it's Everyone starts with a temporary contract. I started with a, like a six month temporary contract. That's what I'm doing. I even left it because the eventual offer was not good enough. I'm like, nah. Then I went to do another temporary contract and where I am right now mm. and they gave me proper contract. The it's still not permanent, but I like it. It keeps me on my toes and my life is, I'm still chasing my other goals, low key. It, the difference though, you studied, you studied for what you, this yeah, is yeah. your passion, the thing that you're doing shit. now. Yeah. Whereas <laughs> me, I had to change yeah. completely. Yeah. I went from being in a creative space and doing fashion to now I'm in tech. Uh, that's dope. I like tech. Do you think Lobola depicts women as a commodity? <laughs> Um, no, I don't think it does, but mm. how it's perceived, yeah, how people these days are perceiving it, yes. Yeah. I don't think the intention mm. with Ilobola was mm. for, for families to sell their daughters off. Okay. That was not the intention. Historically, what's, what was the essence of it? To my understanding, it was just them saying thank you. It was the, the, the groom, the intended groom saying thank you to the bride's family. Mm. Thank you for raising her. I'm just showing you appreciation. Mm. Not I'm buying, I'm owning. She's mine. Yeah. But don't you also feel like it's it's a way of the parents knowing, is this guy serious about like marrying our daughter? It's like, isn't it like a filter? Like it's going to separate the serious ones from the, if he's willing to give this much, it shows how much he cares about her. I wouldn't say it shows how much he cares. It just shows that he has the ability to provide for her. So, he has the ability to take care of so her. So you, you heard what you said, man. <laughs> <laughs> you heard what you said. It's not, it doesn't determine, how, it's, it's not pointing out how much he cares. It doesn't, honestly, it doesn't point out how much he cares. It shows just he has the capacity. Yes, you know? he's capable of taking care of her, of providing for her. Where she's going, she's not going to suffer financially. That's what we'd like to think. However, we know how men can be. Yeah. Not men, some men. Some men. Thank you. <laughs> it, what compels a man? Okay. I would answer that question. Just give me a moment. What compels a man? I think anything that makes the man <laughs> happy and gets him closer to his his purpose compels a man. Anything that makes him happy and gets him closer to his purpose. Yeah. Compels a man. Does I can speak for myself. Does money, fall in, in, me. does money fall under that umbrella of happiness and closer to your purpose and get you closer to your purpose? No money. I wouldn't say money. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't But the say woman money. you marry does. Yeah, because I've, I, I read something that says the woman you marry can either make you a beggar on the streets or the president of the world. Like, you understand? It's just a metaphor for, like, you know? It's two ways. It's either you'll be begging on the streets or you'll be that man of your dreams. Like, it could break you or make you. It's very, very... So it goes both ways. But the question is, do you think a man paying Lobola makes him value this woman? Um, no. Mm. And why? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me start with with the why I don't think he values her if he pays the lobola. Um, 
once again i'm going back to that point where i made that lobola is just a token of appreciation yeah. to the family i mean that's what it used to be historically that's what i'm holding on to yeah. <laughs> and, and that's what it should be you're just and that the money is not even going to be like they're going to use that money again mm. to thank the groom's family mm. so it's not like it's right um so if he is doing that he's saying thank you to the parents yeah he's already valuing her by being an honorable man by being a man of integrity mm. he, by keeping his word he's already showing that he's valuing her yeah so him valuing her has got nothing to do with the money but everything to do with his character and who he is mm. that our mother sees us sometimes and says i'm going to make a lot of money from you because you're educated you graduate you're this and this and that that she feels like she is some sort of product it's not in a bad way our mother sees it like in a good way but she feels like she's an item now that they're just waiting to get someone to come the isb had to come pick her off the shelf what do you feel about that scenario because so every time she has an achievement yeah mother's yeah it's like i'm gonna ding, i'm gonna make a lot of money for you <laughs> yeah your reason there mm. that she feels like she's some sort of item <laughs> that's just not on, on a shelf waiting for the isb that to come take her in the context of Logola, you know, that's what no, she's saying. I get you. Has that, does, has that ever happened to you or do you, have you heard about scenarios like that where the parents are just happy that this lady is just dope, that they cannot wait for... They do do that. Parents do do that. Mm. Um, a woman's accomplishments or her achievements are things that they will use to bargain mm. for a higher price. They do mm. do that. I'm glad um, you said they do. You wanna add how that? she feels she feels like a commodity she feels mm. like something mm. a product yeah an item <laughs> jay <laughs> someone can pick it up and walk out of the store yeah. it. that's crazy because then that means if the person's fed up they can just return it yeah like she has what they're saying is you have no agency in this you have no decision in what's going to happen in your life and in all of this that we have said now don't you think this entrance is like patricky like it promotes patricky everything does so do you think payment of lobola deeply entrenches patricky payment of lobola deeply entrenches patriarchy yes or no and then he states why wow what are you <laughs> <laughs> yo that's an english exam paper <laughs> question give yeah. us your answer and then say why um yeah. Do I think it does patriarchy? First, let me ask you this. Um, in African society, mm -hmm. what is patriarchal? You want me to answer that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> in an African society, what is patriarchal? Like, a lot of, a lot whether, of, whether it's South African or Nigerian. Yeah, I, like, African generally, I used to have this conversation with my dad that a lot of our things in Africa is like just puts women below men many things in an household in a gathering in our religious gatherings traditional setups the women are always second you answered the question african things are designed to subject women but no i'm not yet <laughs> you should answer the questions <laughs> but she just answered it <laughs> Do you think the payment of Lobola is an indication that the groom is dedicated candidate candidate for marriage? No. And why? Five points. <laughs> A dedicated candidate yeah. for marriage. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to a previous point that I made that what makes somebody a good husband has got nothing to do with the amount of money in his bank account. So are you saying or the amount of money he's willing to pay? So are you saying what I'm saying is if just because you can afford a certain amount does not mean you are the best suitable candidate yeah. for this woman. Yeah. Some people get into marriages for purely superficial reasons. Mm. We look good together. Um, that's what happens these days we've been together for so many years we can't break up now mm. those type of things it's never what really matters which it should be your values your values need to be aligned your morals need to be aligned that's what counts at the end of the day mm. right how you guys see the world it's the same type of vision mm. 
So if you have money and you think only having money is what's necessary to make you a husband, whoever it is that you're going to end up marrying is going to be unhappy. Mm. And if she comes from a messed up family, they're not going to want her. What do you mean? They're going to encourage her to stay in a hap an unhappy marriage because of, because the... of the money. Mm. True. Money is still... Money is important, right? Yes, it's important. And it's been used as like, for, for men especially, it's a barter. It's for bartering, for everything. Yeah. They can barter their character. They can like buy character traits with money. If somebody has money, all of a sudden, oh, he must be smart. Or he must be great like this. Or he mm. has integrity. Mm. Or he's a great president. Mm. Or I should say he'll make a great president. Isn't mm. that one of the reasons why we voted for some... For, for certain men is because they're great businessmen and we think that's gonna that translates into a great leader and that hasn't been the case interesting that's actually very true men use money society uses money okay. what about that yes you're right thank you <laughs> <laughs> society uses yes, money yes okay. society uses money i think now because everyone has access to basically everything virtually everything yeah it kind of feels like oh and also feminism but i'll come back to that one please come back to that topic feminism the whole 50 50 thing i'll come back to it, it feels it just things have been bastardized mm. watered down mm. um the value has been taken out mm. what what cultural significance does lobola have like you know amongst women if i sit down with like I, I'm, not, I'm just saying amongst like females Whenever they sit down, they say like, oh, I got this so, so, so amount for my lobola and this other person has maybe a lower or higher. Is there like a disparity amongst like that? Like a but, competition? Mm. Huh. Because I come to your wedding, I see how much, mm, okay. I go, I, I realize we start like exchanging like, yo, <laughs> there's levels to this. <laughs> um... Okay, I've never been lobola, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, you've witnessed some but, and you've of some. Women, we, we are competitive yeah. with like the dumbest things. Mm. We are very competitive. So I would imagine it does happen mm. where people sit down and they'll compare yeah. weddings and ilobola and husbands and partners. Yeah. Because we do that now with just basic social media stuff. Like somebody will post a picture of the roses that the partner gave them. Yeah. And all of a sudden you're showing your man like, look at what other children are getting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And ladies do that a lot. Yeah, <laughs> so it, it, it's very possible that they uh, do compare. But then, let's go back to the question of what cultural significance does Lobola have? Like, does it, of course it's a long cultural practice, you know? But is it fostering, like, marriage, you know, stuff like that? Because I read this research that this other professor wrote at University of KZN. This goes back to what we talked about, about people having people thinking they have options because of social media because of the yeah. internet so let's say and usually okay let me just preface this as well usually mm. the people who explore their options who are more likely to explore their options it's men True. right they have a need to sample almost everything <laughs> that they have access true. to. true true so when a husband is in the process of ilobola yeah. and realizes um no not this mm. not her not like this would he be wrong if he went and took la lobola back can you take lobola back like under certain under not take it back but you can end the marriage because it's 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 literally like Ilobola is just a, basically a traditional marriage. Mm. It's customary marriage. Customary once marriage. once ukupa ilobola, you're basically saying this is my wife. Mm. Basically. Yeah. So once you you end the marriage, they are are they entitled like they have to give you the money? They don't have to. Yeah, they don't. Have to. It's gone. They don't have to. Some families do. Is it yeah. just to like cut ties? Just to completely cut ties. Yeah. Families with money, like okay, you. Take your money and buy it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's a long cultural practice, you know, but is it fostering like marriage, you know, stuff like that? Because 
I read this research that this other professor wrote at University of KZN and it's saying that many people are not married today because of low baller. Like, they can't afford to raise whatever it is they are, you know, being requested to raise or something. And the marriage just spends and often at times it just falls apart. He's saying many people are not married today because yeah. of low baller. Yeah, I wrote, the, I wrote, I, I read the research. Like, it's actually, and he gave like reasons why. This, that, like data, like, that is, it's not like they, they don't love each other, but I don't have that yet. And that marriage pains and... Um, oddly enough, I don't know. Mm. I don't think that's the reason. Let me focus on... It's not on saying all. It's just saying there are some cases where that's the, the only thing, thing is, in the way. The thing is that there are people who get married with just like a deposit, a lobola deposit. <laughs> not that there's a thing. <laughs> it's not, it's like, uh, what's this thing called when you go by... When you go by... Lay by. Lay by. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I'm not saying like that. But like there are people who put like just mm. the bare minimum, a small amount just to say I've started the process. Yeah. Right, and then throughout the years, they'll put in biggie by biggie to go and finish it, to be mm. able to finish it later on. So for him to say that like Lobola is one of the reasons why people aren't getting married is false. And he's, uh, well, he's not saying that's the only reason. He's saying one of the reasons. Yeah. Yes, I think that's false. People, there are women who take out loans just to go be able to be Lobola by their partner. They take out loans for the, their the, partner. Uh, you see, <laughs> do you understand? That's why it's like it doesn't that. make sense for him what to say that. Kiss. I see no, I don't see any bath in any like pain, you know, showing your appreciation in terms of monetary value. There's nothing bad in it. But if you now attach other things to that value, like, okay, because I've paid this, this amount of money for you to be my wife, these are certain cr criteria of things I expect, <laughs> then that's a recipe for disaster. That's just the way I feel. How do you feel about that? <laughs> like it's, I don't know we are humans of course there'll be mistakes and there'll be all of that but you know I don't think is. have you started saving for what for your boy no save I'm sab I'm trying to save for my for my startup business is it something that you want to do I'm starting I'm trying listen not, I'm, the <laughs> not the business when my startup is successful I'll, 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 I'll give, it, I'll give some profits for me to do that. <laughs> In this age where everyone posts the gifts that they get from their partners, the surprises, how their partners yeah. treat them, how they're being spoiled, you feel pressure, right, as a guy? There is pressure. It is, is pressure. pressure. Yeah, it is pressure. It is pressure. Is that, like, should I say why? You can, you can say why. Because, I mean, we live in a country and in a world whereby there's, like, different economic disparity like how much I earn varies from what this other guy earns and that guy and that guy and there's this different spending power and if this guy can do certain thing for his girlfriend maybe my girlfriend will now show me look at what this guy is doing for his girlfriend puts me under pressure that I need to do the same thing or that's the way you feel if I cannot do up to that I haven't done anything is there a level fantasy. of insecurity yeah. there? Yeah, you now start to feel like if your girl ever comes across a guy that has more spending power than you, she's gone. Funny enough, like as women, we have that same thought process, but it's not with money, it's with looks. Mm. Because this world values women for our appearances, mm. how we look. So sometimes you might feel slightly insecure about your man liking another woman's picture on Instagram or seeing a gorgeous woman walk down the street and he's looking at her. You know, you have that feeling like, <gasps> wait, wait, during, whenever I'm in a relationship, I can't even like, the picture is great. I can't like it because I'm going to get dragged for it later. But I, I don't, I, on my eyes, you know, I, I, I just go there and watch and I move. <laughs> I can't be liking stuff. <laughs> I, I, I like it, so many of my friends that are just even my classmates from uni. I can't even like their photos. <laughs> to be honest with you, like I personally believe that relationships are transactional. I believe that so people argue with me. Relationships are very transactional. transactional. That's the way, bro. And and they're based on conditional love. Even though people like to say they don't, um, they they expect their partner to love them unconditionally. Relationships are based on conditional love. Listen, romantic relationships. Yeah. 
I, me, I know, besides my mom, I don't love anybody unconditionally. Yo. Thank you. Like, anybody for your girlfriend to be your girlfriend, she needs certain conditions. It's conditions. For me to date the kinds of guys that I date, there's a condition that he needs. There's a standard that I have set, whether I tell the person or whether they know what it is. I can this, give my mom my kidney. But I, I not somebody you... <laughs> I'm telling you, I can do anything for my mother. Or I can... So the relationship, the marriage being transactional, let's be honest, they mm. are. Some are very transactional. It is transactional. Relationships, I, I don't know. It's, 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 it's like the ones that I know that works are transactional ones. The ones, you know what I've because what I know I've what noticed. to expect. <laughs> and you know what to give. It's simple. It's simple. As long as it's we meet each other's standards and we are communicating, it's going to work. So, yeah. The only times that, like what I've seen, right? Um, the only people who benefit from unconditional love and who benefit from from non-transactional relationships are men. Yeah, when it's not, yeah, because now the lady. Because now he can do whatever he wants. Yeah. She's it's sacrificing. Like She's bending over backwards for this it's, man. It's, it's, it's dangerous. It's very dangerous. It's very dangerous. So yeah, man. And it chips away at her self-esteem. It chips away at her confidence. It chips away at her self-worth. <clears throat> you know, the society we live now is the one whereby people are not always very. You 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 are hiding to say what you know works transactional relationship is what is i feel like is what is going to work because i cannot i want to do something knowing that i'm expecting this from you and you know and i'm also knowing that i this is what you expect from me life is easy if i break the rule then i know but i knew that why why did i do this you understand i don't need to i don't need you to tell me that i'm wrong i know because i've done been i prefer that because uh, i i I'd like to leave by the book sometimes. And if it's like that, it will be easier for the it's woman easy. or the man who's been who's been wronged. <clears throat> yeah. To now like, okay, you know what? He put himself or the, my partner yeah. put himself first. Let me put myself first and leave. Or these are the consequences of your actions yeah. now. I think it's, it's, it's better because now it's not like I'm guessing. Mm, I know. you my bro. So that's the game. <laughs> Thank you, very much. Thank you very much for doing this, Bunny. I really, really appreciate you. I feel like there's there's a lot of things we can we can say. You actually helped me shoot my first university project. You remember the one we wrote you on the swing? Look at how far we've gone. Thanks, man. And guys, don't forget to like, hit the like button, subscribe, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also channel. link a channel on the on, on the description of the, the this and video. pin it. Pin it to the comment section. I'll pin it. I'll pin it. You must also comment on this video so I can pin you and people can track your stuff. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. I need to still shoot more. I need to open this. Actually, uh, yeah, you need to open. You need to do this. I need to do that outside. We need to do all of that. Okay, let's do that. <laughs>